hello welcome back hope you're all well oh it's mild today i've got a dress on it's the first time this year i've put a dress on yay <laughs> i've been dying to get into my wardrobe and pull out my dresses so today's the day and i look human oh i've done my hair and my makeup i just feel so much better no painting no decorating no cleaning today i'm just feeling all glam <laughs> so in this video i'm going to update you on viewings and then very exciting i'm going to show you around uh, the bungalow that we went to see we went to a uh, view bungalow we we're interested in buying and um it's empty so we were allowed to do footage take some measurements that kind of thing so stick with us for that so firstly update on the viewings so we've had three more viewings since I did my last update we had um, a couple that were interested and we were waiting for them to come on a second viewing so they came round and of course when they first came we were all upside down the back window needed fixing and replacing we were decorating so they came and did the second viewing went well we think um, but then they they started to ask a lot of questions which we thought great they're interested but the very final question that they asked was, can this property be long let? No, it can't be let at all. It's in the lease, it it's, can't be holiday let, can't be uh, let to anybody or sublet. So, um, so as soon as they found that out, it was a no. Now that kind of question would have been really useful early on before they started all the viewings and you know, we put a lot of work into getting the place ready for viewing um, and of course answering an, an awful lot of questions that they had, the final one, <laughs> the let in. Um, so that's a no, it's gone, it's it's in the past, get over it. <laughs> I keep saying to myself, get over it Cheryl. So I have. Uh, then we had a, another one, it was a very last minute one, so we absolutely had this mad half hour of rushing round it was close to tea time got everything clean tidy put away um cleared off out for the agents to come in and show them around um and they were interested but weren't familiar with leasehold properties so this is a leasehold so for them they decided it wasn't for them that they just maybe i don't know need to go away and um read or learn a little bit more about that but for now they've decided it's a no that's fair enough um, and then we've had a third viewing a gentleman came round cash buyer and we think um is going to want to purchase this as a holiday home so that's quite promising so again i'm going to do it keep fixed crossed <laughs> So we're, we're waiting to hear from them. We have had a little bit of feedback that they do like it, or he does like it, um, and uh, is going to have a good think about it. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Probably next week when I have an update on that. Bungalow. Okay, so get ready, get a cup of tea. <laughs> get a cup of tea and a biscuit. We're, um, we're gonna show you the video. Now it was, it was a, a good two hour drive to get there. Uh, we had Willow with us in the car. Um, she can get car sick, but she did really well. Um, and then she had to stay with Mike's sister while we went to look around the properties, obviously um, muddy paws. Um, you don't want them on brand new carpets and this particular property had um, brand new carpets. So we left her with Mike's sister with a big bag of treats, the favorite treats. But anyway, watch, enjoy, and please comment. Okay, so this is the floor plan. I'm gonna show you the floor plan first, and then you'll see the actual footage of us walking around um, the bungalow itself. So on this one, I, I've actually, it looks a bit messy, but I've had to put in the measurements myself because they weren't on the floor plan. Um, 
advertised, but they did list it in the description. So I've added them in so you can see how big each room is. Uh, they haven't put the bathroom and the wet room, but they're, you know, there's nothing to them. They're tiny. But I've done a very rough estimate. Uh, so this whole bungalow around about would be about 887 square feet in total. Our current apartment is 909 square feet. So there's not much difference if you add in bathrooms, etc. It's not a, a too bad. So it's, it's noted or advertised as a three bed. It's not actually, it's a two bed because bedroom one that you can see on here, which is on the first floor is a loft room. Um, it's not being done to building regs, so it can't really be called a bedroom. So a little bit naughty prune it as bedroom, uh, advertising it as that. But um, yeah, it's classed as a loft room. Doesn't mean anything to us because I would use that as a hobby room, dressing room, anything room really. Uh, and it's a lovely piece of extra storage. Note also that it's got a garage and it's a very large garage. It's a really spacious one. Again, you'll see that on the walk around in the video. There is some footage of the, gar of the garage and that would be wonderful because we have Grace, 54 year old Morris Minor Traveller, um, who you'll see again this year for car shows. And she does need to go away for the winter. She, you know, bad weather, she needs to be put away really because she's um, she's got a wood frame. So garage, very important. Conservatory, that's probably where we're going to work. So we'll probably have a table and chairs in there, our laptops, that type of thing. You might note on there, uh, those who like open plan, <laughs> there's a kitchen, utility and a lobby, which uh, another house down um, the street, the same as this, has actually done that. Um, but anyway, I prefer it as it is, but comments on it as you're looking around see what you think i really like it <laughs> uh, thank you anyway here we go Yeah, it's 300 that. Get that one. 300,000. It's 325, I think, actually. You're in that, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> <laughs> Where's this one? Where's this down, one? down here. Oh, down here. Yeah, there's Just two. There's two of them for sale here. <laughs> Very pretty area. Everyone looks after the garden. This one. That, no, we're not seeing that one. It's this next door, but one. Number 11. No, but it is this one. Okay. Yeah. Right, just, we'll have to have a look at that. Have you filmed it? Yeah. Just go right up there. Film. Shoes. Yeah. So this is why you do two viewings. So this is why you do two viewings, because you forget everything. You see that many properties and you forget everything and where it was.
it's actually got a separate utility. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's have a little wonder. Big dishwasher, fridge freezer in there, loads of space. Don't mind it. I mean, it's probably going to need a refresh, but it's fine. Breakfast bar. Really useful utility. There's a house for sale next door, but one of them knocked all through. But I quite like having a separate room for utility. Don't think open plan always works. It's really spacious. <gasps> Double doors into fantastic conservatory. Oh my god. Self clean. This is the downer when I get outside. Is it a really small garden? Got an air conditioning unit. Gosh, this is a really good quality conservatory, really good tiles. But anyway, I'm going to go and join them outside and we'll look at the downside to this property, which is space for Willow to have a little run blesser. And we've got to think about how we compromise on space. Oh, let me show you upstairs. This is a bonus. It's gone upstairs. It's a bungalow. Now the bathroom does need doing, but I don't think it's much. Just needs a new bathroom suite. It's a little bit of a worrying crack there. But Michael chat that through with me, I've no doubt. They need a wash. <laughs> I've got loads of storage in this place. Airing cupboard. So a new suite, if we was to go for this one, new bathroom suite. And then it's got this upstairs area, which would be my sewing and hobby room. Isn't it bright? It's really nice. I'm liking this. And that's just the eaves, just a cupboard, a bit of storage in what they call the eaves. All right, let's go outside. It's ever so warm today. I love that. Yes. I love that. It was just fine. nothing. Like yeah. nothing. One leg on the side, and the other was just yeah. like breaking gas, breaking gas. It was amazing. It, it, it. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. We take the wall out and I don't even know if those brick sets are needed. But the nice round the conservatory, but gives you a bit more. And that gives you a lot more. Fences are in good nick. Yeah. Well, it is wet in the corner there. What did, what did you think? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, there is another one coming out of another property. So again, it's very similar um, to this one. It is a, a walk around with uh, some footage, empty property. So please come back and give your comments on that one. We'll be doing a comparison on them as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. <laughs>